Hey everybody, what's up? Andy again. Uh, it's my day off, so I'm trying to get as much practicing as possible. Uh, I wanted to get Mike's challenge done. I want to get something up for that. Um, the paradiddle, 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 diddle, right, left, groove, uh, which is just sweet. Uh, I really like it. So I've been working with it a little bit, not too much. Spent maybe the last 15 minutes, half hour, somewhere in there, coming up with some different ideas. Um, I went and checked after I got done working on them, see what everybody else was doing. Uh, Ron, great stuff, man. Really love what you're doing with this one. Uh, I came up with a similar groove uh, between the hi-hat and the snare, uh, but you'll see there's a, there's a little subtle difference in there. But uh, I got three things with this one. So again, first of all, much like Ron, I'll show it to you one more time. Um, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, Right, right, left, left, right, left. Um, so two paradiddles, a paradiddle diddle, followed by right, left to round it all off. So. Like that. Um, still kind of sloppy. I'm still kind of getting used to the the sticking, but again, that'll come with, with the muscle memory. So, um, first one is kind of a slower groove uh, that replaces the last two with two kicks instead of the right left, um, and then coming back in on the one. So it's actually three kicks in a row. That's why I do it slow, because it's a triple kick. It's da da da. So I'll play that one for you. something you can really get going with that or really work on your triple uh, your triple uh, my triple sucks I can do really fast double blasts but the triple I need to work on so that'll actually be a vehicle for me to work on that um, the next one uh, much like Ron I went with a, a fill as well um, this one does uh, starts out here with the right hand on the floor Tom comes back to the snare then moves up here on kind of an offbeat thing and then finishes uh, up here on the hi-hat, so slow it goes. And usually I hit that one, back it up with a kick, so... with me. Um, the third one is kind of like Ron did, just a straightforward groove. Uh, the subtle difference though is um, I like coming back to the hi-hat on those last two. It just kind of naturally rounds it out for me. So um, again, yeah, just pretty much straightforward using that pattern between hi-hat, snare, and kick. Um, and it goes, so I'll start out slow again. <laughs> it up a little bit. Yeah, I'm still working on looping that one. Uh, let me give it one more go here. So that, it's almost kind of like a drum and bass thing, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's some of my ideas. Um, Thanks to everybody who's posted stuff on that one for kind of helping with some ideas. Really great. Sweet. See you guys later.